oh, maybe about six months ago, I basically said that the Socialist Party would actually collapse and that Le Pen would, would actually rise above it, which is what happened. Uh, Holland basically, you know, had to, you know, just basically bow out. But what has happened since is basically the, um, you have the party system where we're used to in America, two party system. Uh, over there, you effectively have had all the parties kind of disintegrate. And uh, Macron just started his, his party in August. And he's like basically the major contender. So it shows how volatile the politics really are over there. And it's not easy for even a computer to project this sort of thing when the, the mood of the people constantly keeps changing like this. And you don't have a, a, a good data stream that you can put into a computer and come up with. And the, I'm very pessimistic on the, on Europe as a whole. And I think that, you know, if Le Pen wins, you know, Europe ought to basically, you know, wipe its brow because it would mean more of a soft landing for the Euro. If she loses, I mean, you're basically going to have Brussels wipe their brow and say, see, the populists are done and we don't have to reform, and it's only going to get worse. So you're looking more of a hard landing, I would say, going into 2018, and loses. If she won, at least there would be, you know, maybe some back and forth. Um, now you have, you know, Brit exit. I think Greece will end up leaving. Um, so, I mean, I think it would be more of a controlled decline. Where as opposed to a, a big bang type thing that it just comes to a major head, which is maybe what we're going to see.